Exciting times, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, I'm Carrie. Welcome back. And today we are starting demo on our bathroom, which is so exciting. This is the one thing that we have been talking about since before we moved in. When we saw the house, we immediately went, love it, number one renovation, bathroom has to get done ASAP. It's almost six months later now. It is six months later now. And uh, we are just now starting on it. It just shows how much we had to get done before we were able to jump into that. It also was a lot to just get everything lined up. We reached out to different tradies to see what was possible. And it's just taken time to kind of do the, the pre-reno, like the pre-production on the process. So we're here today. It is 7.30 in the morning. I just woke up, <laughs> well, like an hour ago, but still. I've just been having my coffee, having like kind of that calm moment before the storm. Our plumber is supposed to get here around 8.15 and then our electrician's coming a little bit later in the afternoon, but I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom. I've never shown the bathroom on my channel yet before and I think that's just because I've been avoiding showing it because it's just a space that does not inspire me at all. <laughs> um, it's just sort of the space that, here we are. Yeah, do, do, do. So this, yeah, as you guys can see, has been pretty bad. The mirror above the sink are not lined up. So, you know, you'll be standing at the sink and the mirror is like to the side. It also has some weird, stuff at the bottom of it. I can't even see out of that mirror because I'm not tall enough. There's this shelving situation that just takes up so much space. We actually just removed the door because we wanted to have space in here because obviously it's a small bathroom, but we're gonna get a sliding door here and we're actually moving the toilet from here to in this space so that one, you don't see a toilet right when you get in, but two, there can just be more kind of space all around um and yeah we got new everything for this room new toilet new sink new vanity uh new bath new shower hardware everything like that so i can't tell you how much i am looking forward to this we're gonna get new tile in here and we're gonna tile the shower and there's just so much rust and uh, just it's gonna be it's yeah it's gonna be Awesome. Now it's about 7 30 p.m. I've got my towel and all. I'm unwinding for the evening. I just walked over to the sleep out and took a shower, which was actually quite lovely. I was kind of dreading like having to take a shower in the sleep out, but I brought the vacuum in there and I vacuumed like up on all of like the ceiling cracks and everything like that because we haven't been there in so long and I, there were like spider webs and stuff. So I made it all clean. The nice thing about that space is that. The building's not finished, but the shower is new. So newer than the shower that we just took out of our main bathroom here. 
so it's actually quite lovely and the water's warm and so it was it was really nice so we feel really lucky that we have that space to shower and while we're doing the bathroom reno because because we're doing this sort of like maj podge diy we're hiring different people for different things and doing a lot of it ourselves like alex has been in the bathroom um working on some like pulling out all the nails and adhesive that needs to come out before the plumbers come back and they've like specifically told him exactly like all the things that he needs to do so we are doing a lot of it ourselves. we'll be doing the jib boards ourselves and, and like um doing the insulation and some of the walls ourselves because we're doing it like that it will probably take longer than like if a full team came in and did it and like you know kind of flipped it in like a couple of weeks or whatever or even a week who knows but for us it might take a little bit longer so having the shower there and essentially this house has three toilets so there's a toilet in the laundry room which we can use in the evening when we need to go to the bathroom like if I wake up in the middle of the night and I need to use the bathroom I can just go use the one in the laundry room and then when we shower we have to walk over to the sleep out so we have a uh, showering and bathroom accommodations in the meantime today went really like really really well um it went by really quickly it's crazy how much you can get done when you're demolishing a room especially a small room in a day I sent I guess you're just like knocking everything out so it makes sense that it doesn't take that long but um it was really cool to kind of see I've seen obviously like a bare room like that before but like sort of the bare bones but I've never been able to see it like in my own space like close and personal and like see it happen and I feel like you learn so much about the way a room is built when you can see that firsthand so I feel like we're learning so much throughout this process of like owning a home and doing renovations and stuff like that and so really looking forward to that space being finished I'd say the hardest thing about today was going back and forth about the size of our vanity so we had somebody come in and measure the bathroom and tell us like exactly what makes sense in that space. Like this is how big the bathtub should be, this is how big the toilet should be, this is how big the vanity should be. And I think we were thinking that because it is a small space, that bathroom is small. And so we're working with a small space and we're doing like a bath shower combo situation because we love having a bathtub and um, there's not enough room for a bathtub and a shower. So we're doing a bath shower combo with like tile in the back. I found tons of photos of ones that I really loved on Pinterest. And so we're doing something similar to like, we have a vision, it's happening. Um, and we're moving the toilet. Um, the toilet was like to the right of the window before, like right when you walked into the bathroom, we're moving it to like the nook on the side that uh, had the shelves so it's gonna be really nice because when you walk into the bathroom you'll see the vanity to the right and you'll see the bathtub instead of seeing a toilet first thing and like you walk down the hall like right now and then you just well not anymore because the toilet's gone but before you would walk down the hall and you would just see like a toilet and it was like a pretty gross toilet that um had like cement all around it and so it's so nice to like it like already looks better even though it's like bare bones right now <laughs> we're both like ah this is so nice and we're like that's sad that it's so nice even though it's just like wood like a frame i will tell you this though having this primary bedroom all finished and cozy is so <laughs> lovely right now when you're in the middle of renovations we put stuff in the closet and have been like organizing all of that someone's coming on thursday or wednesday on thursday to measure out and give us a quote for a closet door in there a sliding door so things are happening we're making progress and as i was saying it's just so lovely to be like in a cozy yummy bedroom with like my pink Himalayan salt crystal and plants and everything because it feels good to have like a cozy space to go to when you have a room that's like completely demolished right next to you <laughs> this is like the safe space so i am going to brush my hair brush my teeth drink some water and read and then go to bed 
Hello! We are in our gutted bathroom. Plumbers were here earlier today and they added plumbing around. We've got a little section where the bathtub's gonna be with like the little bath faucet head, the shower head, and the vanity head. And we've run into a little bit of a problem. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Large bit. Large bit. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that we have found out that the entire country of New Zealand is having a jib board shortage. So we gutted the entire bathroom and then found that out when we just like went to your local hardware store to just buy some jib board. And they were like, the entire country is sold out for like six months to a year. So and we're not even taking names at this point. They're so even... backlogged. And I think it's worth clarifying that jib board is essentially, it's a, it's a company that makes plaster yes. board, which is, you know, for your walls, plaster, um, plaster board is what goes underneath the plaster, which is that facade that you see uh, on a finished wall. So Jib is the company. So we're starting to find out that there might be alternatives to Jib. And thank you to those of you actually like people on Instagram that are Kiwis replied and was like, have you heard of this alternative? I'm not gonna say yet what it is because we're still evolving. We're still learning if it's going to even be possible because I don't wanna say something right here and then somebody who yeah. needs it like pauses and goes and gets it and then or realizes jinxing. they can't. Or jinxing it, you know, we're just we're just gonna see how it evolves. If it ends up working, I'll 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 fill you guys in. But uh right now we're in a little bit of a dilemma. <laughs> A pickle. A little bit of a pickle. But the, the good news is I just made banana bread and the house smells divine. <laughs> so, so that, yeah, we can at least, you know, stress eat a loaf of banana bread. <laughs> yeah. We had a very ripe banana and we had some zucchini. So I was like, what else? What else would we do? Well, we also took all of the pears yeah. from the harvest mm -hmm. and chopped those up and then bagged them all. Yeah, we've been preserving like crazy. So we've been doing smoothie. Smoothie bags. Smoothie pears. bags, because we love doing smoothies all the time. I'm getting back into my smoothie game. Alex has been on his and- Although pear smoothies is a new thing for me and I can say mix pear with blueberry and you got yourself. Very delicious. Here are some of the pear and apple chips that we made, we've been snacking from these like crazy. This was full before and we refilled it and then now it's almost empty. And then in here, we have the one and only chocolate chip zucchini banana bread. My favorite recipe probably of all time. I just got a little piece off for me. I've got my slice right here with a little bit of milk. We love having it with milk because this tastes like a cookie, honestly, like a really delicious, wonderful, fluffy, but chewy and crunchy, perfect cookie. <laughs> um, and I've got this milk and I just love it, you guys. My country heart loves this situation. So we have a local milk that comes in a glass bottle and on the front of it, it says country milk. And it comes from a farm down the road, which is a town like right next to us. And what I love about it is several things. One, it's whole milk and um, it's pasteurized and everything. Um, but I have been drinking a lot more whole milk recently. And I always, for some reason, drink oat milk, oat milk, oat milk, and or almond milk for a while. And then I switched to oat milk. And I was kind of just like going with like the trend of it all, I think. Um, and I realized that I had like white on my nails and they say that that's normally from like a deficiency in calcium and stuff like that. And long story short, I was just like, I feel like my body needs like whole milk. Um, so lately I have been looking for whole milk. And so I found this amazing whole milk in a glass jar. I'll show you, I'll show you the milk. We're almost out. This is the milk. It's called Ekatehuna Country Milk. It comes in a glass jar like this. And what I love about it is that you can return the glass jar to the market that we have in town. 
and you get money back. So essentially they recycle the glass jars, which I love. They also do milk right to your door if you want it, like the milkman going back in time like that, which I think is awesome. We don't do that. We just pick it up when we go to the market, we grab a couple bottles and then we, when we go back to the market again, we bring the couple of bottles that we used and then you get a good amount of money back. There is something that brings me so much joy about having a local milk that comes in a glass jar that you can return the jar and they recycle it. Like it's so simple, but yet it just brings me so much joy because it makes me so happy to like keep the glass jars and like return them and get money back and like know that they're reusing them and and that it's local milk. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy my country milk with my homemade banana bread. It is the little, the little things, my friend. I have a Zoom call in 15 minutes. So I better eat this up. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Big win, great updates. So first off, we went to the dentist this morning. We have clean teeth, so these smiles are clean and, and happy. <laughs> like I said, Jib is a brand. So I posted on my Instagram and I said, does anybody know anywhere in the world in New Zealand do you, does anybody have like extra plasterboard hanging around and we needed a water resistant board so there was like there's an aqualine jib board or there's aqua smart plasterboard at a place called elephant plasterboard so when i posted on instagram i said hey guys, there's a, you know, I was like, there's a plasterboard shortage. Does anybody have any other jib boards laying around anywhere? And I didn't really realize that jib was the brand, not like the actual product. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. And so my audience was DMing me and saying like, check out elephant plasterboard. It's an alternative. It's still a plasterboard. It's an alternative though. And so we reached out. And I got on the phone with the absolute legend, literally the legend. my queen, Courtney. And I called her, I told her she was a legend and she was like, you're making me blush. <laughs> I called her and I was just like, this is our situation. We only need 11 boards. We got it our entire bathroom. And do you have the small quantity anywhere that we could, you know, and she was like, we essentially, we, we open up on Tuesdays for people to come in and, and pick up plasterboard, but we're based in Auckland, which Auckland is on the other side of the island for us. And we were willing immediately to drive to Auckland if we needed to, because waiting six months to a year for the bathroom in our house is just like, not really <laughs> where it's at for us right now. So we were like, shoot, we need to get this done. And um, so we were like, we'll drive there. And she was like, I think I might be able to, if Miter 10 is willing, we, you can make the order with them and then we can send the plasterboard over to you. Long story short, Courtney, the legend, is getting the plasterboard onto a truck. She said she's going to try to get it onto a truck tomorrow, which means that we will have the elephant plasterboard on the truck arriving on Monday. So, or Tuesday she said, but still, like, <laughs> oh. Several hours later, welcome to my new workout studio. <laughs> this is the granny flat, this is the sleep out. There's a bathroom over there and another room over there. Um, this room is like 70% finished. It needs to be plastered. So it actually has plaster boards right now, but which is good. <laughs> but um, it needs to be plastered. So we might, we were just talking about today, have the plaster when they come and do the bathroom after we get the plaster boards up to do this room. Um, I might have them do this room because uh, it would be so nice to just get the plaster on the wall here because that would be a big step because that means that the room would just be more finished. Like obviously this is like a plaster board that they didn't use. They had like too many. 
So, um, yeah, I'm wearing my gumboots in here, so it's like really awkward to sit down. I should take them off. <laughs> and so my friend and I are going to do a workout in here. We did one the other day, my friend from down the road. And um, we, yeah, we had a really, really good workout a couple days ago. We did like 30 minutes of interval training sort of. So we like did like circuits. Well, I think it's more interval training. So essentially we did like, we would do like plank and then um, running mans and then uh, burpees and like crunches and then like do that over and over again. And then we did like some booty band stuff. She brought over her booty band. And so that was really nice. And she has um, a little one that's like just over one years old. So you guys are actually on her little cage thing, <laughs> um, crate or whatever. I don't know what you would call it, kitty pen. Um, and so she just sort of chills in there while we work out. It works out perfectly. Um, we've done it once, so hopefully it goes well again tonight. She's going to feed her little one here so that like she eats for like 30 minutes while we do the workout. So we'll see how it all works out. And then a couple of our other neighbors are coming over for dinner tonight. So Alex is slow cooking some meat right now. We're going to do um, like slow cooked barbacoa tacos, which is going to be really nice. And I'm gonna make a salsa. I made the banana bread yesterday and then we got hokey pokey ice cream from the store. So we are going to do like banana bread and hokey pokey ice cream. Alex and I did that one night and we were our minds were just like blown by how delicious it was. And um, so we figured, we were like, we can't be having hokey pokey ice cream and banana chocolate chip banana bread every night. But when we have guests, we can bring that one out anytime and enjoy it because um, it's just a very, 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 very delicious treat. And so those of you, you know what's funny? Some of you guys messaged me on Instagram in the DMs and sent me a picture of Trader Joe's, which was, if you don't know, my very first video on YouTube ever was a Trader Joe's haul. I actually just found my Trader Joe's tote in a box and I was like wow this is really gonna show that I'm not from around here with my like Trader Joe's <laughs> tote I might wear it to the uh, farmer's market anyway some of you guys sent me a picture of Trader Joe's hokey pokey inspired ice cream it doesn't really say hokey pokey on it it might say inspired by a New Zealand ice cream I'm not sure but it it's called okie dokie <laughs> Um, but it's dairy free, so I don't know if it'll taste, I'm sure it'll taste similar, but I don't know if it'll give you the full effect, um, because their version is dairy free. So that being said, when I go back to the U.S., I need to go to Trader Joe's and I need to find this and I need to compare and contrast for you guys and tell you if it's as good as the New Zealand Hokey Pokey, which I have a little feeling that it might not taste <laughs> as good because New Zealand's got uh, some pretty good dairy. I brought my little bag, a little tote actually, that um, my friend sent me because I donated to their company, Little Farms, um, because they are expanding to two different farms. And so um, they're switching things up. They had to sell the land that they were on and they're like, yeah, switching things up with their farm. So they asked for donations. And so I sent one in and they like, for giving totes or t-shirts or hats to anybody who donated. And they sent me a tote and a really cute little baseball hat. So in my tote right now, I have the clothes that I'm going to wear for dinner tonight, just like comfortable whatever clothes. But I figured since I'm working out in here, hi Lanka by the way, I figured since I'm working out in here and the shower that we're using now is in here, I can just work out shower, change, go inside and help Alex finish with dinner. I will keep you guys posted on how everything unfolds and evolves in this process of the bathroom reno. We got such good news and it's so exciting. And I think the moral of the story here is don't always take what you hear as face value because there might be 
something that you can do. So for those of you who are in New Zealand and you need to finish up a room and you're waiting for jib board, check out Elephant Plaster Board because they might be able to help sooner than you think. They were able to help us because we only needed a little bit in a really short time, but I think they're doing like larger orders in like two month turnarounds as opposed to six months to a year. So, and I will keep you guys posted as things evolve and progress on the homestead. Hanunki, what do you think? Let's go.